is left ear tympanic membrane showing past tensa and uh, this is a tympanic annulus here we can see uh, cone of light and this is the most prominent part of the structure is the lateral process of malleus and here you can see handle of malleus and this area is umbo here we can see the malleolar folds the pink color the anterior malleolar fold and posterior malleolar fold above which starts pars placida and this area is notch of ribbonus and here we can see the shadow posterior superior you can see the shadow that is incus is joint and stapes if we remove the pars tensa and pars placida scrotum is nothing but lateral wall of the attic area here we can see the notch of ribbonus area and this is scrotum and this scrotum is most commonly damaged in case of cholestoma so if we remove the scrotum we can enter into the epitympanum attic area okay so attic area <coughs> attic area is divided by many of the mucosal folds into dif different spaces here we can see the uh, neck and head of the malleus and head of the malleus and it is incus body and here here we can see the short process of the incus and this is the posterior incudal ligament and this incus body and this is lenticular process of the incus and here we can see is joint this is the head of the stapes and this is anterior crura and this is posterior crura here we can see the footprint of the stapes there we can see the stapedial tendon here and uh, up to the neck it is tensa tympani tendon so coming to the mucosal folds the mucosal folds are head of the malleus over the head of the malleus you can see superior malleolar fold and in the center we have superior malleolar ligament anteriorly to the malleus we have anterior malleolar fold and anterior malleolar ligament and this is tensa tympani fold and posteriorly we can see uh, over the incus there is a superior incudal fold and over which superior incudal ligament the central thickened part is ligament and the total thing is fold so once we see this lateral so this is lateral incudal fold and this is medial incudal fold in the medial incudal fold we have two openings between the anterior malleolar fold and medial incudal fold we have a anterior isthmus and posteriorly we have posterior isthmus these are the two isthmuses which opens which connects in fact to epitympanum to mesotympanum and this medial incudal fold spreads up to the stapes and into the into between the crura also so all these folds forms a tympanic diaphragm coming from this one lateral incudal fold and this uh, lateral malleolar fold and this is anterior malleolar fold and tensa tympani fold and medially medial incudal fold this forms like a, something like diaphragm and this diaphragm is connected with mesotympanum and epitympanum by only two openings anterior isthmus and posterior isthmus so this is anterior malleolar fold and posterior malleolar fold and these things above which forms the epitympanum and here we can see uh, there is a prosaic space this space is prosaic space but this is lateral malleolar fold which usually connects with notch of ribbonus like this and this prosaic space is the most commonly involved in case of cholestatoma and this prosaic space is formed by lateral malleolar fold and uh, medially by the neck of the malleus and laterally by the lateral process of the malleus and this is covered by pars placidae compartments in the middle here we can see the superior malleolar fold this superior malleolar fold divides the epitympanum into two spaces this is anteriorly anterior epitympanic space and posteriorly posterior epitympanic space this posterior epitympanic space is once again divided by this superior incudal fold into medial incudal space and this space is divided once again divided by lateral incudal fold into superior incudal space and inferior incudal space this inferior incudal space is continuous with the mesotympanum and any cholestoma in the posto superior region and will collect at the inferior incudal space and here we can see the prosaic space so here we can understand cholestoma lying in the posto superior region if it goes medially into the posterior epitympanic isthmus and enter into the epitympanum it goes medial to the incus and if the cholestoma lying posto superior region if it goes through the prosaic space and enters into the um uh, superior incudal space it enters into the antrum and it goes to the mastoid region
there are two, two uh, anterior pouch of one thrush and posterior pouch of one thrush these are the there is a small gap between the posterior malleolar fold and pars placida area small gap so this area is called posterior pouch of one thrush when you come to anteriorly this anterior malleolar fold and between pars placida there is a space called this is anterior pouch of one thrush cholecystoma lying and anterior mesotympanum cholecystoma lying anterior mesotympanum can spread into the prosax space through anterior pouch of one thrush or the cholecystoma lying in prosax space can enter into anterior mesotympanum through anterior pouch of one thrush and the cholecystoma lying in prosax space can come into the posterior mesotympanum through po posterior pouch of one thrush